Hey, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo. And in this video, I want to just share a solution to a problem I got asked today. Um, so let me quickly describe what this situation is. Um, so what the person wanted was um, to be able to return all the cities that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, has visited, right? Which here would be Paris, London, Abuja, and Los Angeles, right? So where I have Cristiano Ronaldo, I have all those entries, and so to say, have them separated or delimited by maybe a comma or a comma and a space. Okay, so that's the problem, and that's really what I want to solve. So what I've just done here is just to extract the unique names from this data set, and I want to come up with a formula to help me get all the cities that Cristiano Ronaldo visited and then concatenate all of them. Okay, so of course the first thing that definitely came to mind was text join because bearing in mind that I was going to do a concatenation, I knew I would need, you know, text join. At least that's my preference for that. Then the next thing I thought about was, okay, what other function would come in handy? So I'm going to solve this in two ways. I'm going to solve this using the filter function, which you now have in Office 365. And then I'm also going to assume that you don't have the filter function. How would I have solved it, you know, if I didn't have the filter function? So let's, um, let's go with the filter function first. And let's get the internal parts. Then we just use text join to concatenate. So you pull up filter. The first thing is... The array that you would be returning, you know, the data from. Okay, so in this case, what I want to return are these cities. So I select the cities, select the first one, Control Shift down, I press F4. Then include here. The include argument is just a conditional argument. So what you just need to get here is just an expression that gives you a boolean true or false. So what are we really testing here? We are just testing if the name here is equal to Cristiano Ronaldo. That's going to give you true, false, true, false, true, false, right? So I select this. So it must always be written to give you, you know, a boolean result. This is equal to Cristiano Ronaldo. I lock this, but not absolutely so that I can drag down, right? Then if it's empty, the cell is empty, what do you want it to return? But in this case, since I have, um, you know, data everywhere, I probably will just ignore the argument. Close that bracket. I'm going to use F9 to evaluate so that you can see what's going on inside. So you can see that it gets the entries quite all right. If I just press enter, currently with the Office 365 does, what it's just going to do is just going to spill the results starting from this cell into four cells, okay? You know, so from... F2, F3, F4, F5, but I'm not going to do that. So once I know that I have the results in here, I can then use text join. I just put the text join outside of it. My delimiter in this case, I want a comma and a space. You know, I'm going to put that within a double quote. Now, do I want to ignore empty cells? I can ignore that argument and the default will be true. So it's going to ignore empty cells, but maybe just to be explicit, I put true there, you know, just so I'm explicit. Oh, it's taking off my filter. Wow. <laughs> That's fine. I think we're fine. We just need one more bracket here. And we we'll press enter. I would like to press control enter. Okay. And then I can double click this down. And I have for everybody. So let's see if this is right. Romelu, Lukaku, Paris, and Stockholm. Of course, I can easily filter here and get the result. So it's more like the filter function is more like if you were doing a filter here, right? If you filtered on Cristiano Ronaldo, you will have those four cities. What we are just doing is just bringing them together. So it's pretty simple, you know, nothing complicated with the new um, dynamic arrays. So now let me go old school. What if I didn't have, um, you know, the filter function? I'm still going to use the text join, obviously, but, you know, I need the replacement for the filter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check every cell, cell by cell, to see if the value in the cell is equal to Cristiano Ronaldo. So I'm going to start with an if. I select my range, which is this, same as before, absolute reference. If this is equals to Cristiano Ronaldo, right? 
what do you want it to return? I want it to return the names of the cities. So wherever this is true, it's going to return the name of the city. Okay? Wherever it's false, what do I want it to return? You can ignore it and it's just going to return, you know, the cities and false, false, false for anywhere where the condition is not uh, fulfilled. But to take advantage of the fact that, you know, text join can ignore empty cells or empty, you know, values. I might just put, you know, a double quote, double quote, meaning nothing really, no. Okay, and I close the brackets. Let's evaluate this so you see what's going on in here. So do you see what happens? You're just going to have parry. For the rest of them, you're just going to have blanks. The comma is just separating all of them. So I think I have what I need from here. I put a text join, same way. I do my delimiter, comma, space. Oops. Sorry, some notification. <laughs> then a comma. I do true. Okay. And then I close my brackets at the end. Right. So this should work. The only thing is that you will need to press Control Shift Enter, which now with you know Office 365, you really don't need to because the way it's been set up, you don't need Control Shift Enter anymore. So you just press Enter and it works. But I'm trying to simulate doing this on you know um, a system that isn't running Office 365 because if you have Office 365, you really you know wouldn't be using this function. You'll be using the filter function. So I press Control Shift Enter. Right, I double click and you get the same result. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to share here. And like I always say, if you can think it, Excel can probably do it. If you like this video, you can hit the like button or you can subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. Okay.